Hey everybody, welcome back to another Liberty Kingdom video. This is going to be a two-for-one video. I uh, opened up the playbook box that I had that I told you was coming, and the video did not turn out very good. I cannot turn back time, unfortunately, so I don't have the actual break on video, but I can show you real quick what I got. And then, as you can see in front of us here, we have some mail stuff that I got in today, so let's go ahead and get started with the playbook cards. There were 20 cards in the box, 5 packs, 4 cards per pack. I got Tennessee Titans quarterback Marcus Mariota, Washington Redskin rookie wide receiver Terry McLaurin, New England Patriot rookie Chase Winovich. Indianapolis Colt rookie. This is a purple variation of Rock Yasin. Detroit Lion running back Carry On Johnson. Pittsburgh Steeler rookie Deontay Johnson. Carolina Panther rookie Jordan Scarlett. Pittsburgh Steeler wide receiver Juju Smith Schuster. Another New England Patriot rookie, quarterback Jarrett Stidham. San Francisco 49er rookie Jalen Hurd. This is a purple variation of Philip Rivers. Hurd, he is going to be all over. His destination spots, the Chargers are going to move on from him. Um, the last rumor that I heard was the Indianapolis Colts. Don't know how true that is, but... And then also heard that he, after the Tony Romo and Peyton Manning deals, that he may want to retire and go into broadcasting. So that'll be interesting to see. Another guy that's going to be interesting to see where he goes. I know I've said it before, but there's Tom Brady. Just the base Tom Brady card. Another Redskin rookie, Montez Sweat. It was pretty interesting this guy this weekend I was watching the XFL and they benched the former Ohio State Buckeye Cordell Jones and put this guy in and he was definitely not anywhere as near as prolific as Lamar Jackson but this kid was running all over was stretching the field Stretching plays looked pretty good. I know it was just the XFL and it was just one game, but he actually looked pretty good. And the last base card is, as you can see, it's already in a sleeve. Patrick Mahomes. Here's the first insert. It is a blitz insert. This is John Lynch of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He is no longer a player. He is actually the general manager of the San Francisco 49ers. And I think he's doing a good job. And it is rumored that there is an outside chance that they may be going after Tom Brady as well in San Francisco. Here we go. Zoning commission. Running back. Philadelphia Eagles. Miles Sanders. Here is another insert out of the playbook series. This is X's and O's. 
This is Russell Wilson. And another X's and O's. Reigning MVP, Lamar Jackson. And this was our autograph. Travis Fulgham is this gentleman's name. As you can see there, Travis Fulgham, rookie for the Detroit Lions. This is his autograph. That does not look like a T. <laughs> it looks more like a D. Um, I did Google him, and there are several cards out there, and this is how he signs them. Um, maybe Travis isn't his given name, and maybe he wanted to sign his real name. I don't know, but that is that's quite the autograph there. Wasn't the greatest autograph to pull, but... Still not that bad of a box. Lamar Jackson, Russell Wilson, Philip Ri Philip Rivers, Brady, Mahomes. So we'll move on to the mail packages. Uh, one of these is going to probably be my new favorite card. That is not what this one is, however. It's, oh, that one's wrapped up pretty good in there. Hopefully it didn't mess up any of those cards. Did a good job packaging them. All right, let's go ahead and take a look. Just some base Chiefs cards that were pretty cheap. Travis Kelsey, I think I paid $4 shipped for all of these. Another Travis Kelsey out of the 2017 Donruss. An absolute Travis Kelsey. I believe this is the 17, yep, 2017 Absolute Football. Eric Berry, Playoff, from 2018. This is out of the 2018 score. This is an insert, the captain's insert. There is a base from the Playoff. Patrick Mahomes, and this is Kansas City Chief linebacker Reggie Ragland. I just like that. That blue is just, that foil blue is just so awesome. Just so awesome. And like I said, for four bucks for all of them shipped, couldn't really complain. So I jumped on that one. This next one is a break that I was in. Had my Chiefs, and I made out pretty good on this one. Good. Kevin, if you're watching, that was a good, good package job. I appreciate that. Cards were well taken care of. All right, here we go. Playoff. 2019 Chiefs rookie McCall Hardman rookie wave. These are some pretty sweet cards. These are 2019 Illusions football. This is just the base card of Patrick Mahomes. Also had a box of Optic. Was able to get the Tyreek Hill out of the optic, and I did not have that one. Oop. Optic there. Also had a box of Prism. There was five, five pack, or five boxes, excuse me. This is the 2019 Panini Prism. That is a Carlos Hyde. Just the regular base card. We also had a Patrick Mahomes. Just the regular base. A 
And we had more playoff cards. There's the Patrick Mahomes again. Travis Kelsey, also out of the playoff series. And another Damian Williams base card out of the playoff. And here was one of the big hits out of the break. That is Panini Prism. This is McCole Hardman Jr. of the Chiefs. That is Rookie Gear. That is a jersey in there. Piece of his jersey. And it's just a player worn. Let's see if I can get her to zoom in there. It was a player worn, not a game worn, but still not a bad pull there. And this one is this one is going to be probably my favorite card that I have in my collection right now. And you will see why. Once I get her open here. Oh, nice. <laughs> also here in Michigan, he is also a fellow Chiefs fan, and I don't know why he was getting rid of this card, but I'll, I definitely will take it. I don't know if there's a note written inside here, so I'll try to be as gentle as I can. Breaking it open. It just appears to be wrapped in paper. Okay. And here we go. This is a graded card by the GMA company. This is out of the 2018 Panini Illusions. You will see that is a Gem Mint 10. And it is Kansas City Chief quarterback Patrick Mahomes with Joe Montana in the background. And she is graded Gem Mint 10. This is the only graded card that I have. But there is the back, just a pretty plain back. And like I said, it's about a $30 to $35 card. I did not pay near that. And plus it's also graded. So that is probably going to be my favorite card in my collection so far. Really like that. All right, that is going to just about conclude this video. I do have a lot of other things coming. I was in another break last night and got some more hits, and they will be coming, and I made a couple other small purchases. I got a lot of good feedback from the video with my brother, the pack battle. I think we're going to do that once a week. I think he really enjoyed it. He He tells everybody he sees that he's YouTube famous now, so... He really appreciated it, and I got quite a quite a bit of good feedback from it. So I think it's something we're probably going to do, if not once a week, probably once every couple of weeks, a couple times a month. And I do have some other things coming uh, towards the beginning of April. Uh, the Chronicles is coming, and I've already ordered my box of Chronicles, actually two boxes of Chronicles. And we will do a live break on those. And I'm sure I'll come up with other things in the meantime. Again, if you have time and you'd like to, I'd really appreciate you going on YouTube and looking me up at Liberty Kingdom Videos. Going on Instagram at Liberty Kingdom Cards. And I also started a Facebook page. So if you could go and check that out. And it gives all kinds of updates on there. I do have some sales going on on eBay, if you'd like to look those up and possibly bid on some of those, I have a Select 19 five-card lot of the Patriots with a die cut and a patch of Stidham, 
a Tom Brady insert, and some base rookies. I also have the Ryan Shazier card that I opened up for bid on there. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and bid on that. And I thank you again for being here, and I thank everybody for all the input that you've given me. I really like what's going on here, and I plan to make more videos in the future, and we will see you on another video. Thank you.